Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at a few questions associated with the theorem of Pythagoras. Now, this video is aimed at uh, students who are very familiar with the theorem of Pythagoras. It's not meant as a beginner's video. If you're looking for a beginner's video, you can check out one of my other videos. Now, before we get into a few problems, uh, I want to remind you of a definition of a Pythagorean triple. So a Pythagorean triple is three positive integers, a, b, and c, such that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So this here you'll recognize as the theorem of Pythagoras, where one number squared is equal to the sum of two other numbers squared. A few common examples of Pythagorean triples that hopefully you'll recognize from dealing with right angle triangles are three, four, and five. So five squared is equal to three squared plus four squared. 5, 12, and 13, because 13 squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared. And 6, 8, and 10, because 10 squared is equal to 6 squared plus 8 squared. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you four different questions. I'm going to start off with a couple of easy ones, where uh, the right angle triangles, uh, all the sides are Pythagorean triples. And then I'm going to show you a couple of harder examples here, where we don't get Pythagorean triples, and one where we have to do an extra bit of solving as well. So we'll start off with these easier ones. So on the left here, solve for x. We have 3, 4, and we have x. Now, some of you may recognize this as a Pythagorean triple straight away, but we'll work through it and see what we get. So the hypotenuse squared, x squared, is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. So x squared is equal to 9 plus 16. x squared is equal to 25. x is equal to the square root of 25. So x is equal to 5. Now, always remember when we're dealing with triangles here and the theorem of Pythagoras, we only ever take the positive value for the square root. We don't take plus and minus 5, we just take plus 5 because it doesn't make any sense to have a length of minus 5. We can only have a length of 5. Next one here, solve for x. This time the unknown side is not the hypotenuse. So I'm going to write it out the same way. I'm going to start with the hypotenuse squared. So 15 squared is equal to x squared plus 9 squared. I'll square everything out. 15 squared is 225. That's equal to x squared plus 9 squared is 81. Take 81 from both sides. So 225 minus 81 is equal to x squared. Okay, so x squared is equal to 144. So I get x is equal to the square root of 144, so x is equal to 12. Okay, so there are two nice straightforward examples uh, where our answers are whole integers and the right angle triangles are made up of, of Pythagorean triples. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples where the answers are not whole numbers. Okay, so find the size of the third side in the triangle below. Okay, so let's call the third side x. You can call it whatever you want. We usually go with x. So x squared is equal to 7 squared plus 9 squared. x squared is equal to 49 plus 81. So that means x squared is equal to 130. So we just take the square root of 130, sorry, x is equal to the square root of 130, which works out to be 11.40, correct to two decimal places. <clears throat> now in this next question, we're asked to solve for the unknown side x. That's this one here. We have a right ang angle triangle where we have 7, we have x, but this side is also unknown. Now we have this right, right angle triangle at the top, 6, 7, and this unknown side. So I'm going to call that unknown side y. First we'll solve for y 
then we can solve for x. So y squared equals 6 squared plus 7 squared. y squared is equal to 36 plus 49. So y squared is equal to 85 and y is equal to the square root of 85. Now, I'm going to leave this in third form. I'm going to leave it as square root 85. You'll see why in a minute. There's no point in me uh, taking the square root of it just now. So I have y there, which is root 85. So now I can solve for x. x squared is equal to 7 squared plus root 85 squared. So x squared is equal to 49 plus, and now this is why I left it in third form, because the square root of 85 to be squared is 85. So x squared is equal to 49 plus 85, which is 134. So x is equal to the square root of 134, which works out to be 11.58. Okay, so that's a few examples there using the theorem of Pythagoras. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.